Testing one, two, three. Good morning.
morning, praise you in the evening, praise you when I'm young and when I'm old, praise you when I'm laughing, praise you when I'm grieving, praise you every season of the soul. Good morning, and welcome to Foothills Christian Church. My name is Becca, and this is a very unique worship service. It's not what it typically looks like when we gather, but we are so glad that you are here. Foothills is an open and affirming congregation where we hope our welcome is wide and that you experience a sense of belonging. If you are new, we have connect cards we'd love for you to fill out um, to help you discover more about our church. Hopefully, if you're joining online, the live stream is working, but we ask for your prayers for that. It's been a while since we've live streamed outside, and there's always a lot of fun kinks to iron out. Um, so if you are online, thank you for your patience, and interact in the comments so we can know that you're with us. On Friday, was it Friday, Earth Day? Yes. Friday was Earth Day, and so we are continuing that theme by gathering here in this space and enjoying the beautiful weather um, if the beautiful weather means sun is in your face and you start to get warm, feel free to move and find the shade as the shade moves. Um, our service is going to be a little bit shorter than normal, which I think is a, a good thing for a service like this. So um, if you start to sweat, just know that the end is coming. And um, we also do not have our regular um, children's classes because of it being outside and um, family friendly. There are si there's sidewalks, chalk, and bubbles over on this side. There's tables with coloring sheets. So this is a service where it's okay to get up and move and do whatever's best for you during this service. Um, our youth are also leading a majority of the service, so thank you to all of our youth who took on big roles this morning. We're looking forward to that. And just if you're a youth and you're not sure when to come up, just We'll, we'll do a lot of announcing and welcoming you to come forward, so just be on alert for your name. And um, this morning we wanted to do a special lift up of our new small group ministry that is getting ready to launch next week. And Tani's been our coordinator for that, so she's going to come up and share a little bit more. All right, well, good morning. Morning. Hey, I don't know if you know, but our pastor, if you see our bulletins, do you know that she does these? on the front you see the dog today she's the one that paints those so if you don't know what? now you do it's pretty awesome huh nice all right well when you came in you got this thing it's called a block map can you take those out 
and your pen. Got him? All right. So one day someone came to Jesus and they said, Hey, what are the greatest commandments? And Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. So we're going to see how we do it. With your pen and this block map, so where it says you are here, that is your house or your apartment. Uh, wherever you live, this is you. And what you're going to do is take your pen and in the eight boxes around it, write the first name of all your closest neighbors. Got it? Any questions? Take your pen, write the first name of all your closest neighbors. So the person that lives right across from you would be in this box. The person that lives kitty corner would be in this box right next to you. The other side, right and left. Go ahead, go ahead. How you doing? Oh, I got a high I got a thumbs up from Tina. All right, she's one of those overachiever types. <laughs> she's a teacher, that's why. All right, now we're gonna take it up a notch. Now in those same boxes where you wrote their first name, write their last name. Told you. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna get even more fun. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Did anyone, raise your hand if you knew at least five or more of your neighbors, their first and last names. Raise your hand. Anybody? I cannot raise my hand. I've only lived here a year. I know one, the name of one neighbor, Alan, across the street. You, you know? There's a rooster. Here. That's awesome. Okay. You know Tajane? Okay, that's great. Good for you. Why is it all the kids, adults? We're busy, huh? Um, okay, the last one is, oh, Lee. Lee, too. Well, Lee's a weird one. I know. All right, the last one is uh, put next to their first and last names one thing that you know about them, like maybe what they do for their work or the place they love to vacation every year. So one interesting fact about your neighbor. Okay. So when the Lord said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, we should do that literally. And so we have a new small group to help us do that. The small group is called The Art of Neighboring. It's a six-week study. I've done it at my former church, and I'm going to tell you that it was absolutely amazing. And don't worry, we don't expect you to do anything weird. We don't expect you to go and like do the sinner's prayer or something crazy with them. What we expect you to do is just be the amazing, nice people that you are and just get to know your neighbors. And that's what the study's about. And so we have six different groups that we're offering. Um, can, do I have leaders? If I have leaders in the area, can you stand up? I have six different groups. There we go, there's the Seagwalds, there's the Immels, I have John and Chris. We have six different groups you can choose from, but if one of those nights or locations does not work for you, I have two other ways that you can do the study. Even if it's just your family, you can do it. And I have boxes that have everything that you need to do the study. Again, it's only six weeks, so we can do, anybody can do anything for six weeks. But if you won't be here during one or two of those six weeks, I have an alternate way that you can either make it up or I can send you the video and you can do it on your own. All right? Okay, well, you guys are amazing. You don't want to miss this. The entire church will be moving in the same direction. We'll be preaching this information from the pulpit, and then you'll be meeting in your groups that week, and you'll be talking about it and then actually doing it. Okay, ready, set, go. Sign up for the groups. I'll be over there right after church uh, with boxes and registration forms. Thanks so much. All right, thank you, Tani. And Tajane, you're going to come up. She's going to be our first youth to lead us in the call to worship. Um, if you need a chair, we have chairs over here off to the side, So, and I'm sure we might have a few more in the fellowship hall. Um, but again, feel free to move with the shade, and um, Tajane is going to lead us in the call to worship. You don't have what you're going to say, 
on a screen since we're not inside. And so after every time she stops, you're going to say, and God said it was good. So we'll practice. Tajane stops, and you say, and God, God said it was good. Perfect. All right, Tajane. Join me in the call to worship. God created the heavens and the earth. And God, and God said, said it was, it was good. God created all the plants, trees, and flowers. And, and God, God said it was good. God created all the birds of the sky, the fish in the sea, and animals on the land. And, and God, God said, said it was good. God created you and me. And, and God, God said, said it was good. Let us worship together and may the peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. And now we'll join in singing a couple of songs of praise. Stand if you like, sit down if you're more comfortable, do whatever feels best. One, the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Lord, this morning we praise you for all your glory and for all your wonder. We give this service up to you. We worship you with all of our hearts. Let your spirit fill us, Lord, as we honor you this morning.
Is that a fish? It is a fish, all right? So see, there are more things than pause to be clapping today, all right? So let's try it one time all together. Ready? All God's creators got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or pause or anything they got now. Awesome, all right, so we are going to sing the song and everyone's gonna be invited to sing it, but since you know the chorus, Sing up on the chorus, and for the verses, I'm going to pass out these animals. So take a take a, take an animal sheet, take one and pass it around. And all of these animals that are printed out are going to get mentioned in the song. So once you have an animal piece of paper, let's all stand up here and make a line and face this way. So okay, so you and you can be our example. So stand right here. Okay, so once you have your piece of paper, come up here and make a line like this. All right, once you have your animal, does anyone keep passing them around? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Do you have enough animals? There's some more over here. Okay, we ran out of animals. You can make a friend if you have, if you need a friend for an animal. Okay, now go see, you can stand up and go back to where. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, here's, Chloe, you have a couple. Oh, here's some more. I have more. All right. There's the porcupine, blue lion, yep, okay. and owl. You still need a piece of paper? Okay, so once you have your paper, you can go stand. Can you go, can you go stand by Vivian? Okay, so you're going to listen, look at your animal, see what animal you have. All right, who has a bumblebee? Right, okay, put, right, no, hold your bumblebee so everyone can see. Okay, who has a donkey? Okay, hold it up where everyone can see. All right, so look at your animal, and anytime your animal's name comes up in a song, your job is to hold it up so everyone can see. And your second job is to sing out for the chorus. And everyone's job is to join us in this song. <laughs> All right, let us sing together. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing high, some sing out loud on the 
telephone wires. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Well, listen to the bass and so on on the bottom where the bowl from cops and the hippopotamus moans and groans with the big to do. And the old cow just goes, mmm. Well, the dogs and the cats and cake. And the jaybird disagrees Singing in the night time, singing in the day The little duck quacks and he's on his way The possum don't have much to say And the porcupine talks to herself Well, our God's crew's got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands and paws Or anything they got now We all get to play in the great critter band the Eagle in the sky to the whale in the sea It's one great symphony <laughs> All God's critters got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands and paws or anything they got now All God's critters got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Favor. <laughs> or worship favor. Thank you. All right, we are going to join our voices once more in song.
Loving God, you created the earth and called it good. Thank you for the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the soil under our feet. Remind us that we are part of your creation and that we need to treat the earth with care and respect. Forgive us when we we've, we've have caused pollution and have been wasteful. We ask for your help to show us how to be the best caretakers of this beautiful world. Bless the animals that are here. Thank you for the joy they bring us in our lives. Hear now our prayers of concern. Here now are prayers of joy. Let us continue to pray, praying together the Lord's Prayer. Who art in heaven, hallowed be my name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you, Cole. And now I'd like to invite all the youth who are taking part of the Genesis reading to come forward with their parts. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. dome in the midst of the water, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And so God called the dome sky. And there was morning for second. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one piece, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together, he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants building seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation. Plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And and God said, saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let the be lights from the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be a sign for the seasons, for the and for the days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights. The greater the light, the more rule the day. The lesser the light, the rule of the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. 
to rule over the day and over the night, to separate the light from the darkness. swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the giant sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind, which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on earth, and there is evening and there is morning with them say. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth and every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps along the earth. So God created humankind in his image, and the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps upon the earth, everything has the breath of life. I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. that helped with the creation story. Yay! Amazing. And from this creation story, we learned that everything that God created, God called good. And so we're here with our animals and pets that um, we bring because they are blessings to us and to seek blessing for them. And um, through the story, we also learned that as humans, we have been tasked with the job of being good stewards, of taking care of this earth and the creation and everything that we are um, gifted to share life with. So now we're going to do our blessing the animals portion and Janelle's going to be at one station and I'll be at another. So as you're comfortable you can, um, it probably be too much if everyone came up at once, but make you can you know uh, make a line here and make a line over on the other side of Janelle and then we'll just take turns. So when you come up with your animal um, we'll invite you to share your name and then share your pet's name and then a one word that summarizes um, what this animal, how this animal is a blessing to you. So if that's joy or compassion or whatever word you want to think of, um, we'll do it that way. And um, also get to learn your name too so that we can get to know each other better. So let's see if we have any first takers. So come up if you're ready. On either side and we'll kind of alternate. All right. 
Okay, Chloe is um, not, was not allowed to bring her real dog, so she brought a stuffy animal. Okay, so tell us your name and your animal's name and one word about that describes that animal. Um, Chloe, and this is Doug, and one word that describes is Dilly. All right, so Doug, <laughs> Doug, the stand-in for our real dog, Jack. We bless the Jack and give thanks that he is a blessing and that you will um, be a blessing to him. Um, I'm Charlotte and my pet's name is Oscar and he um, is playful during the day. Oscar, may God bless you, may the God who created you allow you to thrive in playfulness and may you be a blessing to the family who loves you. All right, Shannon, do you want to share? Um, my name is Shannon, this is Nathan and Ari, and this is our dog, Loki, and our word is mischievous. <laughs> as, as you can see. <laughs> Oh, mischievous. Okay, well, we will pray for Loki from afar. Loki, we give thanks that year for your mischief and the fun that you create for the Fairchild family. We bless you and that you will be a blessing to your family. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Harley, and this is Unconditional. Unconditional love. My name's Tina, and this is Abigail, and uh, she's our uh, watchdog. <laughs> she barks at everything. Harley and Abigail, may God bless you for your unconditional love and your watchfulness, and may you be a blessing to your family who loves you. Thank you. All right. My name is Tasha Nae. My dad's name is Lucy. And one thing about her is she's kindness and joyful. Wonderful. Well, Lucy, we may you be blessed and for your kindness, and may you be a blessing to this family who loves you. My name is Jill, and this is Isabel, and she is affectionate and gives kisses. <laughs> Isabel, may God bless you for your affection, and may you be a blessing to your family who loves you. Right, we got a chicken. My name is Emily, this is Vivian, and this is one, Rose, one of our golden girls. And what's the word you? Sweet. Vivian says sweet, but cow says eggs. Her name is Rose. Rose, all right. Well, Rose and all the other chickens that you belong to at your home, we give thanks for the way that you all bring eggs and are sweet. And we bless you and may that you be a blessing to the family who shares life with you. Hi, I'm Xavier. This is Mickey. She's loving. Um, I'm Josh. This is Lilo, and she's playful. So, Mickey and Lilo, may God bless you for being loving and playful, and may you be a blessing to this family who loves you. I'm Terry, and this is Bandit, who uh, gives me plenty of exercise. <laughs> I'm Linda, and this is Petey, and Petey's Snuggles. Yeah. Well, Petey and Bandit, we bless you and give thanks for the way that you bring exercise and cuddles, and may you be a blessing to Linda and Terry who love you. I'm Rebecca, this is Penny, Lance, and Violet, and this is Cozy. And Cozy um, is a blessing to us because she made our life, life a thing. And Cozy, we bless you and we praise God for you and for making life eventful and we pray that you continue to bless this family who loves you. I'm Brian, this is uh, Amy Paul, and this is Dominique, we call her Nikki, and the one word describer is cow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nikki, we bless you and for the ways you remind us of a cow, but we... Um, Ask for blessing upon you and that the joy you bring to the Paul family. May you be a blessing. I'm Linda. This is Willow, and she is my heart. 
Willow, we bless you for being a heart, and we pray, pray blessing over you, and we pray that you bless this family who loves you. My name is Ryan, and our dog's name is Nitro, and he's very loving. Nitro is at home because he's better at home, I hear. So, and you said loving? So Nitro, we bless Nitro from afar, giving thanks for how he is loving, and we pray that he is a blessing to Lindsay and Ren, who loves him. I'm Julie. This is Tuna. And he brings happiness to me and my husband. Tuna, may you be blessed by God who created you, and may you continue to be a blessing of happiness to this brave family. We are the Chair of Ataros, Michael Jr., Catherine and Leela, Michael, and we have with us our cat of 15 years, Persian Himalayan, her name is Luna, she passed earlier this year, and we're here to give her a bus. So Luna, we um, give thanks for Luna's life and pray for the grief that is missing in this family's life, but we give um, ask for um, blessings for this family in the way that the memories will provide them with hope and strength. Amen. I'm Jen, and this is Jen. This is Quartzy, and he brings us a lot of joy. Amen. Quartzy, may you be blessed by God who created you. May you continue to bless this family who loves you with joy and peace. This is Bella. Today is her one year adoption day. She's our joy. And she's a trash writer. <laughs> <laughs> Bella. And I'm Carolyn. Sorry. Bella, we give thanks for the God who created you and um, ask for blessing upon you for the way that you are a blessing to Carolyn. And Dawn. Hi, I'm Jane, and this is Brandy. And for her, I guess, faithful companion. Brandy, we thank God for your creation, for your faithfulness, and we pray that you will continue to be a faithful blessing to your family. Hi, I'm Linda. This is Scott and our grandson, Broxton. Um, this is Helios, and Helios is a loyal companion. And that is Hermes, and Hermes is very protective. Well, Helos and Hermes, we give thanks to the God who created you and ask upon your God's blessing for the family that loves you and how they um, bring so, you bring so much love and gift into their life. I'm Amy, and this is Trixie, and she's a wild thing. <laughs> Trixie, we give thanks to the God who created you for your wildness, and we pray that you continue to be a blessing to your family. My name is Juan. My wife Tanya and I are boys. This is Theodore. He is loyal, loving, and very uh, tired. He likes leather. <laughs> Theodore, we give thanks to the God who created you for your loyalty, and we pray a blessing on your family who loves you. Well, Shelly, we give thanks to the God who created you as a liquor and who's very loving, and we pray blessings upon you that you will continue to be a blessing to the family that loves you. I'm 
David, this is Argos, and Loyal. All right. Well, Argos, we give thanks to the God who created you as Loyal, and we pray blessings upon you that you would be a blessing to the family who loves you. Any other animals out there? Well, it was such a joy to get to um, meet so many of your loving animals and also play, pray blessings for all the animals who um, are like my dog and don't do well in group settings. So we bless them all as well. But here are a final blessing. Oh, holy God, the creator of the universe, thank you for giving us the gift of animals to share our lives with. May they teach us lessons of love and care and compassion. And may we continue to... Um, be drawn to them and care for them in ways that reflect your generous spirit. Amen. And now um, we are going to turn towards our communion table and we'll be singing the song on Eagle's Wings to prepare for that. Um, for um, our youth who are helping with communion, if you can make your way up as we sing this song. Our communion is prepared. They are the individually wrapped, sealed um, communion. We erred on the side of doing that, just knowing everyone's been touching animals, and it might not be the best day to share in one loaf together <laughs> with all of our hands. Um, but um, the bread is on the top and the juice is on the bottom. And now let us prepare for this communion table where everyone is welcome. And um, there is everyone who is here is invited to partake. And um, taste and see that the love of God is good. Let us now join our voices together in song.
God's angels is given a command to guide you in all of your ways. Upon their hands they bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. And I will raise you up on eagle's wings. church um tonight at six o'clock is our may book club discussion and it's at the home of jill Wynn. so if you need that address come see me or jill or um tawny and we'll be able to share that with you and tawny began worship off by really helping promote the art of neighboring we're really excited about this so um be sure on your way out there's boxes for it and six different opportunities and also another way to do it as kind of just a family study as well um so after our benediction, I'm going to have all of our group leaders stand up and then join Tani over in that area 
so that you can um, be there to um, it, to recruit and, and maybe it'll be a competition to see who can <laughs> get more people. But now I'd like to um, offer a call to discipleship here at Foothills. We end our service by offering an invitation for anyone who's seeking to join this faith community to officially come forward and place your membership in this congregation. We'd um, love to welcome you and invite you in that way. But now we'll stand one last time and sing together by doing in our voices for our final song.